Boris Johnson has said the MP responsible for misogynistic comments towards Angela Rayner will face the terrors of the earth. In a fierce crackdown, the Prime Minister described the comments allegedly made by a conservative backbencher as intolerable, vying to come down with the hammer on such behaviour. It was reported in the Mail on Sunday that Conservative MPs had said Angela Rayner had crossed and uncrossed her legs during PMQs to distract the PM while he was speaking. Mr Johnson said, I have to say I thought it was the most appalling thing of sexist, misogynist tripe. I immediately got in touch with Angela and we had a very friendly exchange. If we ever find who was responsible for it, well I don't know what we'll do with them, but it will be the terrors of the earth. It's totally intolerable that kind of thing. It comes as an anonymous source said to the Mail, Ms. Rayner, knows she can't compete with Boris Oxford Union debating training. But she has other skills which he lacks. She has admitted as much when enjoying drinks with us on the Commons Terrace. The article reported claims from several Tory MPs that Ms. Rayner was mischievously trying to distract the PM. The newspaper said the claims drew parallels with the infamous scene in the 1992 film Basic Instinct, where Sharon Stone's character crosses and uncrosses her legs. The piece went on to contrast Ms. Rayner's background as a former care worker who became pregnant at 16 and left school with Mr. Johnson's old Etonian past. Ms. Rayner responded to the article on social media, branding the piece as the latest dose of gutter journalism. She said, women in politics face sexism and misogyny every day, and I am no different. This morning's is the latest dose of gutter journalism courtesy of Mail on Sunday Politics. Quote. Boris Johnson's cheerleaders have resorted to spreading desperate, perverted smears in the doomed attempts to save his skin. They know exactly what they are doing. The lies they are telling. The Prime Minister reportedly wrote to Ms. Rayner to apologize for the comments made by the backbenchers and in the mail.